for me a show should be a show and should have a concept and I find it interesting to work with sort of self-imposed guidelines within a concept to produce a kind of narrative throughout a, a collection on the catwalk. I just like I, like, I like kind of an awkwardness, so I like things like, I like, I like the idea of minimalism but mixed with something that's not slick, so I like Woody Allen films in the sense that they're about real characters. There's something sort of slightly awkward about it or slightly off about it, because I guess that's how I see myself, I'm not sort of, you know, a, a slick sort of Tom Ford character. I guess London, that London culture and London style is less elitist and sort of um, less conservative than, say, Paris style. Because it's, you know, I think Paris style is quite sort of dictatorial. You know, I mean, I'm never happy with really what I've done. But there's one piece that keeps selling for us and it's kind of a classic Richard Nichol piece, which is this oversized silk t-shirt. We, we give it a new print every season. It's still kind of our best selling piece and has been for six years. <laughs> I met my business partner Jo Knight eight years ago. It was through her kind of help that I've managed to, you know, build an actual business. But yeah, I think it's you know more important than certainly in the last couple of generations to and marry that commerciality with the conceptual side, so that you kind of appease all parties. You know, I appease myself creatively, I appease my customer, appease the buyers and the press. So I mean, it's a challenge, but it's one that's kind of keeps you going, I guess. But yeah, I mean, I think fashion's definitely a commercial art form. I, I don't think there's time for it to be in like a fine art form because of the kind of relentlessness of the schedule.